talking but not walking. It does not take too long to determine whether a person is legitimate or not by simply observing. Words and actions work in revealing whether someone is true to what they proclaim or whether they are not. I find that there is also a tendency to use the mouth concerning people, events, and conditions in a way which reveals what is in the heart of the person sharing. Matthew 12.37 For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. The mouth is also like a barometer, forecasting what the purpose of the speaker is from the way a person attacks another person verbally is a perfect indicator for revealing that which a person is following after. Jeremiah 12.2 Thou hast planted them, yea, they have taken root, they grow, yea, they bring forth fruit. Thou art near in their mouth and far from their reins. Titus 1.16 They profess that they know God, but in works they deny Him, being abominable and disobedient, and into every good work reprobate. Truly something that must be acknowledged, which the Lord has addressed in different ways in his word. Sitting and listening to the words of the Lord does not guarantee that those hearing the Lord's words will be led to follow. Words spoken involving the showing of love that make it appear a person is dedicated to serving the Lord may reflect a desire, but a desire which does not at all coincide with that which the Lord is and that which the Lord requires of those following him. Ezekiel 33, 31 through 32 And they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people. And they hear the words, but they will not do them, for with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument, for they hear thy words, but they do them not. The yielding of oneself to causes other than those of the Lord, and by adapting behaviors contrary to reactions which honor the Lord, is certainly is certainly revealing evidence that the Lord is not being served. Romans six sixteen Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. John eight forty four Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar, and the father of it. Second Timothy 2.26 and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, who are taken captives by him, 
at his will. 